Hello, welcome back to my channel, Wild Hair Grooming. Today we're looking at Cub Cross Chaos. So it's been lots of hype about this one on Pomade Everything. Um, Brad from Cub & Co drummed up some real interest in this product. It's a gel hybrid. So there's been quite a few gel types come out in the last few months. Uh, you had Flagship did one and Lockhart's did one. Um, so this is Cub & Co um, and then Chaotic Hairs take on a gel type, but it's a hybrid gel type. So we'll get into what that sort of means um, as, we, as I explain how I use the product and how it performs. Um, so to say, Cub & Co is Brad's company and then uh, Chaotic is Rob and Cameron. So this is their collaboration. So the packaging obviously says Cub Cross Chaos on it with Chaos written in the same sort of font as the Chaotic Clay. And again, it's just a nice simple design, red and black. And the red matches the colour inside. So I got the Death Valley scent, um, which I believe was Cameron scent. So as far as I can make out, I didn't actually check this, but as far as I'm aware, I think Brad did the formula for this and Rob and Cameron did the scent. I believe this is Cameron's scent, which is Death Valley. I actually wrote down what the scents are this time. So it's blackberry, clementine and cactus, top notes, and then cappuccino, pepper, um, candelier, orchids, amber, and musk. So it is fruity, but not overly sweet. But yeah, it's nice and fruity, nice and fresh. Um, not too overpowering. Um, once it's in your hair, you get little whiffs of it throughout the day, but it's not too strong. But yeah, nice scent. And another scent is Bay of Fire, which is a cedarwood and sandalwood one. But yeah, I went for the Death Valley just because it sounded a bit more interesting, a bit more original. Sorry, Rob. Um, so that's the scent. So the scoop on it is just absolutely easy. You see, it's quite sort of like a shiny. You can see it's sort of in the jar. It's a real shiny, which I guess is sort of like, it's like a gel. The top of it's sort of got that like bubbly effect on it. I guess I'm just really been poured, but then underneath it's just like smooth and, and sort of shiny looking. So it scoops out like nothing. And then breaks down very easy as well. You can see it looks really shiny in the hand. Yeah, it breaks down very, very easily. Sort of sticky, feel a stickiness as you break it down, but it goes into the hair extremely easy. I'm applying to damp hair as I always do. Um, first time I used it, after I put in the first group, I thought, ah, uh, this isn't gonna work on damp hair. Cause I was thinking of if it's the gel type, might not work on um, damp hair because the wetness in the hair might just sort of dissipate the product. So I put the first group in and I thought, oh no, it's not going to have enough hold, I'm going to have to use a hairdryer. But as I put in more scoops, the hold uh, starts to become apparent. So I do another scoop, do my customary three scoops. Um, and then yeah, as you, as you start to layer it in, you can feel um, the hold starting to become present. So even on that second one, you can feel it starts to get thicker. But still applies very, very easily. Make sure I get it all over. And we'll do one more scoop like that. So it scoops and applies like a gel. So it's it's taken an advantage of gels there because it's nice and easy to scoop, nice and easy to apply. So that's sort of one of the characteristics of a gel that I think it has taken. So 
there we go so now you can see it looks really shiny there that's because it's my hair's wet still but it does um applying to damp hair you do get more shine i think it's advertised as a natural shine yeah natural shine um yeah now it looks really really shiny but when my hair dries the shine does dial down so there it goes all in yeah, comb it all back so it's just spreads through the hair extremely easily doesn't clump up or anything Now I'll do the initial styling, which again is very easy to do. It responds really nicely, so now you can see the holes start to come in. Keeps everything together really nicely, not getting any flyaways or anything. Um, so it's nice and easy to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this video in three stages. Because obviously when you hear gel, you think it's going to set and go rock hard. That's what gel just puts me in mind of what stuff you would have used when you were a kid that is like two pound for a massive tub of it. Oh, that reminds me actually, this is a hundred mil, this one, which I believe is 3.5 ounces I think um yeah gel I think of those massive tubs that you get for two pound from the supermarket and they just go rock hard and if you try to uh restyle or if you try to comb or anything like that with them they would just fall apart and normally go into horrible white flakes and just be horrible and disgusting this doesn't do that. This stays completely malleable all day. So what I'm going to do is that's, that's the initial style done. Happy with that. So. There we go, so see, really nice. So it's got a lot of shine at the minute, but that does die down when, when my hair dries. So, I'm gonna do it in three parts. This is the initial style. I'm gonna wait a couple of hours until my hair is dry, and then I'm gonna show you the breakup of it. Um, but say it doesn't really, it doesn't set hard, so there's not much of a breakup, but I'll show you the restylability of it and then I'll do an end of the day uh, endurance test as well. So I'll see you in a couple of hours. Bye for now. Okay so this is a couple of hours later. Everything is well and truly dry and has set. So as you can see it's set but it's not like rock hard, it's still pliable. Um, yeah, it's not hard at all, it's just firm. So at this point, obviously, you can just leave it because it will just stay like this all day if you just leave it like this. Or if for whatever reason you do need to restyle it, then you can. So I'll show you now. It's still got quite a lot of shine as well. So if you want, if you want to just take the shine away, then you can comb it. I do, I do think it looks better after a comb off that initial set. It's a bit more of a natural shine. But as you can see, it's not like a normal gel where you're breaking it up and it's all just falling apart. It becomes even softer. Um, and yeah, a bit more of a natural shine to it. So, I'm 
There you go. So I see, see even more sort of malleable now. But as I said, you don't have to do that. You could just leave it and it will just stay. So there you go. Haven't lost any hold. Taking the shine down a little bit. There you go. Okay, so now I'll wait till the end of the day and do the final thoughts on it and everything. Okay, see you guys. Hello, so this is the last part of the video. It is now the end of the day. Um, so I've had the product in for about nine hours and it's still, everything is very much held together really nicely. No flyaways, volume hasn't gone down, no loss of hold or control at all. So in terms of control and hold, very good. Definitely a strong hold. Nothing, no sagging, nothing. So the endurance is very, very good. Um, especially seeing as it is sort of a gel hybrid. So the endurance and the restylability are fantastic on this. Um, and the washout, it does just come out with just water. It will just, if you just rinse it, drop it or whatever, it all comes out with just water. So I would say it's a gel hybrid, obviously. I would say that what Cub Cross Chaos has managed to do is to take the positive elements of gel uh, and leave out the negatives. So the positives being it's very easy to scoop and it's very easy to apply. Um, there's no tugging, there's no pulling or anything like that. It's really, really easy like a gel would be. But what it doesn't do is set hard as a rock and then you have to just leave it and you can't touch it. So it's taken the positives of a gel and left out the negatives. So it's a really, really, really nice product. And if you haven't already picked one up, I would thoroughly recommend that you do so. Um, it's really unique, I think. Um, and yeah, that endurance is fantastic. So especially if having something that just rinses out with water is important to you, definitely, definitely get this one. It's very, very nice. So yeah, I think it was definitely worth the hype. It's a really, really, really nice product. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Ta-ra for now.